we're Sarah and Nate Swartz. And this is our channel, All Swartz of Adventure. See what we did there? And today we are going to be sharing our first vlog together, actually. It's never been posted. For a couple reasons. Uh, we are very new at it, um, but we wanted to try to see what we could do. Uh, we didn't know exactly what we were doing, so we just tried a bunch of new things. It was around this time we started to be more intentional about wanting to share our adventures and kind of document our experiences. So it actually it takes place in Seattle, which was a blast of a trip. I loved it. But the way we share the story via the camera, you might not know that, but... We were very good storytellers, so we would like to share with you today how to tell your story. In, a, in better ways. As you watch this short clip of our time in Seattle, keep in mind these three points, and we're going to unpack them a little bit more after the clip of Seattle. The first one is the technology that we used. Or equipment, yeah. Second is going to be the script or the purpose like for our story, like why we're sharing our story. And then the third would be the type of footage and the amount of footage that we took. So with that being said, you know what you do? Action! Hotel. Mayflower Park Hotel. Mayflower Park Hotel. Shout out. Um, go ahead and uh, let the, uh, let's see what, uh, you know, we got us here. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, my bad. My bad. As you can tell by my sweaty lip and my perspirating back, if you could see it, we've exerted some energy. A lot of it. Um, we took a little bike ride. Um, we learned some lessons about the subscription plans you can have. And, we uh, took uh, OFO, O-F-O. Like MOFO, but without the M. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see the zoo! And now we're finally at the zoo. So that part of our adventure is over. footage is super entertaining to Nate and I because it's a look back on on the things that we did and the adventures that we yeah. had it's not super engaging for the audience especially if they don't know us because there's no story and if you get stuck on roller coasters it probably <laughs> doesn't help one of the first lessons that we learned once we got back from Seattle looking at the footage was that we wanted to upgrade the equipment <sighs> that we used we were on the hero GoPro 4 at mm -hmm. the time now we're on the Hero 7. If you want to see Nate's review on the Hero 7, click on the link in the description below. It's an awesome video. But upgrading your technology doesn't mean you have to break the bank. One of the simplest things that we could have, we could have done to alleviate some of this really bumpy footage is just putting our phone or even the GoPro, because the GoPro is known for shaky footage, um, just on a stick or on a pole. Something to alleviate some of that left to right motion. Because, I mean, now we don't have to worry about it because we have the Hero 7, which, as you can see as I'm showing footage right now, plays great video when we're bumping. But just, there's little tips and tricks and things that you can do for cheap fixes. Our second lesson we learned from this Seattle trip was that we needed to take more footage than what we thought was necessary. And more, and different types of footage. Yeah, whether that's we're focusing on B-roll for our more cinematic shots or taking times for us to actually just talk to the camera as strange as it is still for us and to share what we're doing and kind of why we're doing it. Just adding in engaging commentary. Because it's when you go into post-production and again, if you're making or filming things with the intent of making a video, mm -hmm. it's if you don't have enough footage, you're left trying to almost make, make a story from what you have. And while that you might be a really skilled editor trying to share the story with minimal footage, you can make it a lot easier on yourself if you just be more intentional about filming more than you think is necessary. Our Seattle, the Seattle clip that you saw is more of a highlight reel than a story. It's, it's just yeah. lots of cool things that we did, but there's no actual story to it. Which also leads us to our third point. 
the third and final lesson that we learned from our Seattle adventure and vlogging up till now is to have a purpose for your video and have a script while you're taking them. This script and purpose, it doesn't limit you. In fact, it gives you more creative freedom in the back end. So we're trying to create content. We're trying to actually add value to anyone who wants to watch our videos. And so with that, we should probably know what that value is or what that storytelling, what experience we want to actually provide for anyone watching. So with that, this script or this purpose, it gives you a direction to go in. It's clarity on what your video, your end product is going to look like. Think of it like this. Don't just cast a net out hoping to get whatever swims by. You need a target audience. And so once you know that target audience, you'll actually be able to create content effectively to engage those individuals. Looking back, the three things that we learned from our first video in Seattle was that we would have changed the equipment that we had. Or at least better utilized it. We would have then made sure we got more than enough footage for the story we were trying to tell. And lastly would be the story that we were trying to tell. <laughs> Having a clear purpose and probably a specific audience that we are going for. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found something beneficial from this content. Um, I hope you learned something from our three lessons and that maybe you don't make those mistakes in the future. If you liked this video and you know what to do, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get a notification when we post our next video. If you've been to Seattle and you did something we did or you saw something we missed, go ahead and let us know down below because we will definitely be going back because mm -hmm. they got good food and uh, I mean it's not super cold there like it is here in mm -hmm. Fairbanks, Alaska. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that being said, cut! cut.